This is your weekly reading from, let's see here, November 26th through December the 2nd, 2018. Before I get started, I just have a few quick announcements, guys. Um, my 2019 New Year Forecast Reflection of the Year readings are on sale on my website. Um, go ahead and get them now before things get really busy around here in the month of December. Um, it's 50 minutes, and I'm not really sure how much I priced them at, but you will get your um, forecast for 2019. Um, I will give you basically a theme for each month out of the year um, going forward, and then the overall theme for 2019, what are the major um, themes and challenges each month of the year going forward. So be sure to check that out. That offering is up on my website. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading, I am open for private readings. I have um, scheduling availability this week, and uh, you know I'll be opening up my December calendar really soon. So go ahead and check out, uh, if you want a private reading, link below in the description. So that does conclude the announcements. Let's go ahead and get started with your weekly forecast. And this reading is for all Aries out there that may be watching. Aries suns, moons, and risings, and Aries on the house cusp. Let's see what's going on for you. November 22nd, 26th, sorry, through the through December 2nd, 2018 for all Aries. We're going to look at six cards going forward. How you see yourself today, Aries? What is the theme for you this week? What is the big picture? Something you have already learned that will be useful for you to remember this week. Your challenge, a lesson you are learning now, and a gift you will a gift you will receive this week for Aries. I'm using the Lover's Path Tarot deck today by Chris Walder. Walder. Let's see what's going on for Aries. November 26th, please, through December the 2nd, 2018. That I need to know. These cards are a bit large, so they're kind of hard to shuffle, but it's not too bad. Aries, please. Aries, Suns, Moons, Rising, Risings, Aries on the House Cast. Please give us cards for Aries. Okay, and they're giving me the number two here, so let's do two more shuffles for Aries. One, two. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, and if you're new here, I definitely want to welcome you to my channel where we are doing weekly readings. Over here, bi weekly readings and monthly readings, whenever I can get those out. Let's see. I may have to move some things around here because this is, you guys are the first sign I'm starting out with. Um, what is that? Sorry, it's going to drive me crazy. Okay. As I'm laying out your cards here. Hopefully you guys can see all the cards. That's important. Okay, and we have the two of coins underneath the deck here, and it is coming up reversed. So, for some of you, the underlying theme or challenge of this week, um, or the underlying theme or challenge of this reading has to do with, you know, how much emphasis are you putting in different areas of your life? Um, sometimes the two of coins in the reverse can mean feeling overwhelmed emotionally, can also mean that you have to drop the ball in some area of your life. You could be dealing with someone who drops the ball on you. Um, usually it means that we have too much on our plate and one or more things has to go. So it's very important this week that you prioritize your duties and responsibilities to yourself and to others. Um, remember to um, don't spread yourself too thin, okay? Give yourself plenty of leeway, plenty of um, room to maneuver. There may be a cancellation here, or you may have to cancel on someone, or you may just have to say, look, I, I've overbooked myself in one or more areas, and I'm going to have to, you know, redraw up some plans here. So, Aries, how you see yourself today? You've got the six of staves in reverse. Okay, so sometimes this can indicate here that um, you feel betrayed by a member of your team, or you feel like you aren't getting the recognition that you deserve. Now, this can be in any area of your life, love, career, etc. With the six of staves in reverse here, this can also mean that um, you might be receiving some attention, but it might not be positive attention. It could be, for example, um, 
you aren't um, being properly recognized for your efforts or you feel overlooked in some area. Um, sometimes this can mean someone feels betrayed. Um, someone feels betrayed. Um, now it is coming up in your fire sign energy, so I definitely feel like this is your energy coming through here. Let's see, what else am I getting? You may also feel like you have not been victorious or you couldn't conquer something. Um, you maybe feel like you let down, you let someone down because you weren't able to, to be a leader or you um, feel like someone else hasn't been showing their lead, hasn't been a leader for you and hasn't been showing up the way they're, they're meant to show up for you. Um, so it can go either way here, but I'm definitely seeing here, you know, instead of, you know, feeling victorious and feeling like you conquered, this can be a feeling of being overlooked or like betrayed or that you didn't get the recognition you felt you deserved. So a theme for you this week, Aries, and the big picture is the king of staves. Okay, so the big picture is, I feel like this is your energy. And um, who is the king of staves? So we have Wotan here, who is, you know, this Viking king. He's very brave. He's very courageous. He is a leader. He is someone that has the ability to lead. Um, and he leads through action and loyalty and passion. He's extremely passionate and he definitely goes after everything that he wants. So I think the, the theme for you in the big picture this week is that, you know, Aries, you are the leader. People do look up to you. You do have what it takes. Um, so you, you did deserve to get validation. You did deserve to get the attention. Whoever was overlooking you or not giving that attention, it could be because they were jealous, it could be for other reasons, but I definitely feel here it's like keep your chin up because you are this king of staves, you are this king of wands. You very much have the ability to lead and inspire others. People look up to you and when you're resonating at your highest level of energy, you resonate like the king of staves. So they want to tell you that you absolutely have what it takes. Um, don't ever stop achieving, don't ever stop dreaming, don't ever stop aiming for that high, high, high peak that you that you aim for. Because the king of staves for me is like the Steve Jobs in the tarot. He's extremely entrepreneurial, he's extremely creative, he's extremely driven, and he's very passionate about everything that he does. So I absolutely believe 100% Aries, you have that ability to lead and inspire others, and you are that leader and that inspiration. Something you have already learned that will be useful for you to remember. We have temptation. Okay, so this is uh, the equivalent of the devil in the Rider Waite Smith deck. In this deck, it is temptation. So here we have, um, you know, we can say that this is like another energy here leading her hand. Uh, so I feel that uh, this can have to do with you know anything from. Uh, what, what has tempted you? What has been a temptation for you in the past? Um, addictions, codependency, um, things that feel good that you know you shouldn't be doing, obsess, obs things that you obsess over, repetitive, obsessive thinking. Um, you already know that you've had how to deal with this kind of thing, how to deal with temptation. Um, in fact, I feel like you can probably recognize it when it's coming on, when you when you are around it or when you feel like you're going into some, you know, you're going down into that deep, dark area. So um, they want you to remember that you've learned how to overcome your temptations. You've learned how to break addictive cycles. You've learned how to say no to things that are tempting to you, but you know are not good for you. So this is something that you can keep in mind this week. Be very wary of, um, you know, for example, too much sweets, too much sugar, too much, uh, you know, whatever it is, it's too much of whatever, um, going to that place, it's just whatever extra, um, be wary of being too extra in any area of your life, um, and just, you know, try to, to stay grounded, and I would also recommend burning sage, burn a lot, burn sage, you know, go into the corners of your house, the dark corners of your house, and burn sage and get that negative energy out. A challenge for you this week, Aries, is the king of arrows. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, also, they're saying it might be a challenge for you to kind of think about something more rationally, more logically, 
um, more detached because the King of Arrows is very detached in his thinking. He's a mastermind. He's a planner. He's a strategizer. Um, he also can, for example, look at things from a very objective standpoint, such as like a lawyer or a doctor, in order to solve a problem. So he's a great problem solver. He's um, he can if he if he needs extra information or needs to learn something, he'll just pick up a book and learn it. Um, so yeah, he he can be very reliant on things that you can see, um, you know, things that uh, are factual. Um, also, if you're dealing with someone like this and they are coming up as a bit of a challenge, uh, the way to approach this type of person is, or to meet them on their level, um, you know, you want to present things and be very truthful to this type of energy because um, this person doesn't take any BS or, or they, um, you know, they're, they're more of an intellectual than anything. So um, I feel like a challenge for you this week is to kind of um, look at the fine print, uh, be logical, okay, use your head here. Um, you may have to be a little bit cold and distant with people. You have to kind of protect yourself um, uh, and use reason, be very reasonable, you know, don't, uh, don't be fooled by, you know, the all that glitters in the world. Um, really look at things and see if they make sense um, and approach them with quite a lot of logic and reason. A lesson you are learning now, Aries, is the Princess of Coins. Okay. And we have a female Earth energy here. Princess of Coins is um, someone who, who's, she's, she's very earthy, first of all. Um, she's very grounded, and she can sometimes represent um, the body, a uh, physical connection to nature. There could be a message for you in nature or in within the physical body, such as health, diet, the body, etc. Um, her lessons have to do with like paying attention to um, your body, your diet, what you're eating, um, yeah, what you're putting into your body, etc. And also to really pay attention also, I feel like, to the signs and symbols around you. For example, if you're out on a walk, etc. Um, and you might hear a little bird singing or you might see a little, you know, bunny, a little rabbit or something. There can be animal totems and spirits around you that are communicating to you through nature. So... Um, I definitely feel like there's some lessons there. Also, this could be a lesson regarding money, your health. Um, I'm also, I feel like um, there's a humbleness about the Princess of Coins, not taking anything for granted, being very grateful for what you have, um, possibly spending some time out in nature. Um, because we have Dan Dan Danae here, Danae, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Anyway, she's like the earth goddess. She's like um, Demeter, you know, the, the goddess of the harvest. And so here I feel like there's a real need for you to get grounded and, and be humble and to really pay attention. What is your body trying to tell you? You know, listen to, listen to nature um, and, and just be humble and, 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 yeah, you may have to also, Princess of Coins here is small beginnings as well. So, you know, you could be learning how to start off and some, to start over, start off in some area of your life as though you were kind of a beginner, like a newbie. So just take it slow, take it easy. Um, uh, you may be learning um, lessons regarding health, the body, money, um, and you just have to be like ready to learn kind of like a student again. So be open to learning new things also is what I'm getting. Be willing to um, be a student in the game of life. Does that make sense? A gift you will receive this week, and we have the Prince of Cups. So some of you could be communicating with a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. For those of you ladies out there watching, I do feel like there could be a male um, love interest coming into the picture, and this person does want to offer you love. I definitely see some sweet messages here. Someone here d does understand you, Aries, and 
um, can communicate with you in a very easy manner. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing love messages here. This could be a, some kind of communication that she'll be receiving. I'm definitely seeing a male energy here. Tristan is, um, or the Prince of Cups here, this is my Pisces card. So for those of you who are interested in a male Pisces, I feel like um, you might be hearing from him this week. But this is lovely. Um, this is also the gift of being more lighthearted, um, more carefree also. Uh, sometimes this can be the gift of song, the gift of music, something that stirs you romantically, something that stirs your emotions, um, something that uplifts you and that just makes you feel better. So it really does look quite good. Um, Aries, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. I would love to hear your feedback, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.